Hello class, we're going to look at multiplying fractions by whole numbers again. Here's a couple examples. Remember, you can think of it as repeated addition. This would really be one sixth six times because you're multiplying it by the number six. It would be the same as adding one six six times. When we do addition, we know the denominator stays the same. And then we just add the numerator. And that would be equivalent to one whole. So you have that repeated addition strategy, but you also have the shortcut of taking the whole number times the numerator and leaving the denominator the same. You get the same answer, the same product, just a little bit quicker that way, and it's still equivalent to one whole. A couple more examples, I'm gonna use that shortcut, whole number times the numerator. 5, 6, and here's a whole number times the numerator, and keep that denominator the same. Now this is improper, so you can decompose that if you'd like to change it to a mixed, and I'm going to take out the one whole, that's 6, 6, and that will leave 1, 6 left over, because 6, 6 plus 1, 6 makes up that 7, 6. And another way to write 6-6 six, six is 1 whole and 1 six. so those are equivalent. You'll also see some fractions on a number line. So complete the multiplication sentence that matches the model. You can see the fraction is 4 thirds, so here it is, 4 thirds. How many times are they doing it? Once, twice. And what does that give you? 8 thirds. Again, on the number line, your fraction is 3 thirds. That's really one whole. You're doing that twice. So 3 thirds plus 3 thirds is 6 thirds. Or another way of saying 6 thirds is 2 whole. This time they're giving you the whole number and the product, the answer. They want to know what fraction you're multiplying by. Well, remember, the denominator is going to stay the same. And the numerator is whole number times the numerator equals 10. So you need to know 2 times what is 10. And we know 2 times 5 is 10. So the fraction is 5, 6. I can also use this number line to help me figure it out. If you notice the first fraction they landed on was 5, 6, then they're going to do that again twice once, twice, that's that two times, to get 10 sixths. This time they're giving us the fraction. We have to see the whole number, how many times they do it, to get four eighths. Well, if you tell by the picture, once, twice. They do it two whole times. You can also tell by the numbers. Remember, the denominator stays the same. And it was two times what is four? Well, two times two is four. Hope this helps you with your IXL today, guys. Have a great day.